395 Roswell Road, applicant Church of Scientology to allow for a church in the existing building and to expand the building by enclosing the existing parking deck with concurrent variances presented by Assistant Director Therese Ruffin. This is a rezoning case to allow for a church in the existing building and to expand the building by enclosing the existing parking deck with five concurrent variances. The petition was heard at the September 17th Planning Commission meeting and the commission recommended denial. Specifically, the commission had concerns regarding the amount of parking being provided um, for the proposal. As um, following the Planning Commission meeting, the applicant submitted a revised site plan um, to increase the parking being provided, which also uh, required two additional concurrent variances. As such, staff is recommending deferral back to Planning Commission to allow them to review the revised site plan and the two additional concurrent variances. We're ready for the petitioner, Mr. Galloway. Members of the City Council, my name is Woody Galloway. We're here with Galloway. I am here representing the applicant of this request. Since you last saw this zoning request, we went back to Planning Commission at your direction to for them to review the negotiated conditions that the applicant negotiated with the uh, Director of Community Development Department and with the City Attorney's Office. <clears throat> Unfortunately, Planning Commission recommended denial of that request, expressing concern about the number of parking spaces uh, and the occupancy that was proposed. The number of parking spaces originally was 82 spaces, and 283 was the cap that we voluntarily placed on uh, the Church of Scientology at their, uh, with their agreement. They were willing to agree to a cap uh, so that uh, in an effort to address the concerns expressed by the community. As a result of the Planning Commission's action, we took another look at the request and uh, went back and looked at the existing site, uh, evaluated whether or not additional parking spaces could be provided on the site, uh, and whether an, an additional reduction of the cap would be possible. Uh, as a result of that, we filed an amendment with your uh, Community Development Department to increase the number of parking spaces provided from 81 spaces to 111 spaces. Uh, doing that by a combination of restriping and adding addition, additional spaces. We also proposed to reduce the total cap of the total number of people that could be on site at any one time from the negotiated 283 uh, person cap to a cap of 170 uh, people on site at any one time. So we voluntarily uh, both increased the number of parking spaces and decreased the number of people that could be present on site at any one time. Uh, because we are now proposing to do some land disturbance activity on site, that triggered the need for a couple of additional variances. As staff has indicated, uh, those additional variances, uh, in turn, uh, it is the, uh, the opposition attorney representing um, the neighborhoods Wrote, uh, raised the issue originally uh, to me yesterday, uh, indicating they thought it needed to go back to planning uh, commission for their review. Uh, staff now is indicating uh, that it needs to go back to planning commission, and we are willing for it to go back to planning commission for their consideration <clears throat> of the new proposal. As much as we hate uh, for that to happen and hate for the delay to happen, we uh, are willing to go back to planning commission for them to consider the proposal at the new cap of 170 people uh, and with the addition of parking on the site to raise the number up to 111 parking spaces that provided. That's a ratio of one space for every 1.5 people that would be on site. We feel that that addresses the, the parking issue uh, but would like uh, planning commission's recommendation on that and we will come back to you in December. So you're that. asking for a 60-day deferral? Well, we're asking for it to go to Planning Commission in November, which is the soonest it could be advertised and go to Planning Commission, and then come back to you in December. Mm -hmm. it, it would be the second meeting in December, therefore, of the hearing. <coughs> All right, thank you. Appreciate that. You're reserving your time? Reserve my time. Please. Thank you. If anyone wishes to speak in behalf of this petition, in addition to Mr. Galloway. 
Now uh, we will hear from the opposition in um, who is who is presenting the case for the opposition. Madam Mayor, before we do that, can we have our city attorney explain the zoning why this is a zoning procedures act issue before so it won't kind of get their time. I'm sorry. The, the word, what we did today when we uh, heard of the possibility of this need is we looked at the uh, state law dealing with zoning and anytime you have a zoning action, there needs to be a review of it through the process procedure-wise. So we felt it would be appropriate uh, to have it come back through uh, the the uh, planning commission for review what are these variances because the variances are new it was not something a part of the application it was not something considered by planning commission so in abundance of precaution because of the uh, issues of all we thought it'd be appropriate to do that i understand uh, but we've, we've uh, advertised a public hearing so i think we're obligated yes, to we hold are. a public hearing this right. evening uh, Absolutely. with the understanding of course that uh, the petitioner has indicated the desire uh, to go along with the deferral so i would like to hear now uh, from uh, the opposition as to where you stand on this first card i have is from robin beachy <coughs> Madam Mayor, members of the Council, I'm Robin Beachy, 20 Willow Glen, representing Willow Glen Condominium Association, but I think that on this occasion I can probably speak on behalf of the 16 civic and homeowners associations that have raised formal objections to this application. Uh, we have prepared for this evening and <coughs> come prepared to argue the case for denial as recommended by your planning commission. And we still formally ask you to do that. Uh, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail uh, because there has been a suggestion about uh, uh, a deferral, but I'd like it to go on record that we are asking for a denial. Um, as has been stated, you, you're, you're obviously going to consider a deferral now because it's been recommended by staff to enable this matter to be further considered by the Planning Commission. We shan't object to this because we believe that new material has been put forward by the applicant which ought to be properly publicised and properly considered in accordance with your zoning ordinance. And that's all I will say uh, to you this evening. Thank you, sir. Do you have any other cards? Yes, I do. Patty Burns. Jane Kelly, 4590 Windsor Park Place, and I'm here representing the High Point Civic Association, which is uh, representing 500 homeowners in Sandy Springs. Uh, I would just like to say that we accept deferral. We're very disappointed that it, this has come to another delay uh, due to procedural violations, but we concur with deferral. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Kelly. <laughs> I'm Patty Burns at 5400 Roswell Road. Um, I represent 600 petitions as well as the 16 homeowner and civic association signatures. And um, I accept um, deferral on this. Very disappointed. We've worked very hard to get to, to, to this evening and was, was hoping that it would be over. Um, this, since the beginning of this year, this has been a slippery slope. Um, of a rezoning changes all the time and um, I'm hoping by the next meeting that we can get this finished. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Burns. Sheila O'Shea. 